Kalamazoo Boxing Academy started around 1972. It stayed in Kalamazoo until about 1985-ish, under the direction of Henry Grooms. I then felt I needed to get some financial assistance. I went to Upjohn's. I went there 26 times before I had the opportunity to get in to talk to Ted Parfit, who owned Upjohn's. I tried to give him some insight about having a facility to help youngsters. He said, you know, in five days he gave me a call saying that he had spoken to his wife and his family and they felt that he should talk about moving forward, creating a gym. I found a building that was on the mall and the Kalamazoo Boxing Academy was born. boxing icons in Kalamazoo combined their, their whole fighting stables together. The academy is a place of education and learning. This is a place to come and learn life. It was on um, Burdick Street where the Uptown Theater used to be. You had to go up some stairs. There was Henry's office. There was the ring. There were all these boxers working out. You go to Mr. Groves' office, which was always immaculate. And you go into this gym. I couldn't believe this beautiful facility. The equipment was all new. You could eat off the floors. Downstairs they had a ring for kids 15 and under. And upstairs they had a, uh, two rings with a wall of mirrors. We had the shower rooms. We had lockers. Towels were furnished in the KBA. Soap was furnished in the KBA. You could go and fight in your amateur fights wearing professional gear. Not everybody has the opportunity to do that. I mean, it was fun, you know, because we had all the equipment. All the thing we had to do was just work it. I had been to Detroit's gym. I went with Archie Moore. I've been to his gym. And even these professional gyms weren't better than the KBA. KBA had everything. The boxers behaved themselves more uh, in a, an establishment like that. They were more respectful of each other. Both Ed Bridges and Henry Grooms uh, played the instrumental part of that. It was so popular in Kalamazoo and vicinity. You would see those blue and gold jackets all over town. And people saw them so much they started wondering, what is the KBA? What is the KBA? Individuals that were entrepreneurs in the city and came to see what the gym looked like or what was going on. A lot of sponsors, uh, I think the Gilmores, uh, Ziegler's, uh, a lot of the people that are well-to-do in Kalamazoo were, were big contributors to that. Arthur is a forever, ever loving friend. I never used his name because he requested I didn't do it. But I said it was coming from a local pair person who had love and concern for the community. Henry was quite an operator. He was actually responsible for bringing the Kalamazoo Wings hockey team to Kalamazoo. He envisioned building a stadium and staging big fights there. Got on the good side of president of the Upjohn Company. He sold him on the hockey idea. Well, it was a sheer owner of Wings Stadium. That's why I fought my first professional fight. Right here at Wing Stadium. And we all made money, you know. KBA began to fill up with an enormous amount of fighters. We began to function at no cost to anybody that was participating. The Kalamazoo Boxing Academy was the finest boxing academy I was ever in. It was such a first class, professional, and amateur boxing gym.